Mm-hmm. Well, in my artistic work, I'm always interested in finding the right words for different situations. And this is a peculiar situation in which uh, a main character is trying to uh, describe her feelings of detachment. And uh, I put her in a, in a situation that is uh, really intimate and close. And I was interested in how I was interested in how she can communicate the feelings that she's coping with in this uh, very intimate scene. Well, it was difficult because I wrote it in German. It's uh, not my first language. So, um, yeah, but it was also really inspiring to... I had more time to, like, to do a research on real uh, terms that I want to use so I could uh, puzzle a bit and... uh, Yeah, I I think I said what I wanted to say. Well, it's a first narrative that I made. Like, I did an essay movie before this one, so it was a different kind of genre. Like, um, it's much more literal, like, literal (laughs) than this one. So there wasn't any dialogue. So, yeah, this was the first thing that I did with two actors. Editing. Yeah, I also edited a movie, so this was the first time that I did editing and uh, it took a lot of time and it's really lonesome work and this was maybe the most challenging part. I'm also a good friend with the actors, with both of them, and I remember they were like asking, should we meet, uh, have a drink or something? We didn't see each other for such a long time and I was like, Oh, I see you. I see you every day. I don't miss you at all. Well, it was maybe the most beautiful part for me. Uh, I worked as an actress with both of them. So I kind of knew what they can. And I wanted to to extract that from them. Um, But uh, they had like... uh, full belief in my vision, in my idea, so um, yeah, we rehearsed for two days or something. And uh, yeah, it was for them, it was most, uh, the challenging part was that there was no improvising at all. So they are both uh, like good in improvising, but I said, no, I just, I really want you to say these words and um, I know the rhythm is weird for you because it's, as I said, it has like a structure of the text is from someone that it's not a native, it's someone who's not a native. So yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, we found it together, I think. Funding, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking for money, this would, I, I would I really like uh, to, the next time to give it to another person to take care of it. Um, because it takes a lot of uh, like it takes a lot of energy and uh, you can't like really focus on the idea. I love working with the cinematographer Moritz Messinga. Um, I already I made my first film with him and I like his work and of course the work with the actors. Well, it's I was more interested in how to how to make kind of theater scene into a movie. So I think maybe Chantal Ackerman is someone who, who uh, I mean, her older works that are kind of like this uh, setting, the reduced setting and like really focus on the, on the theme. So um, maybe, maybe her, yeah. But also how to, how to combine theater and film. Um, I wrote this summer, I wrote another short movie and uh, yeah, now it's uh, looking for some partners, partners in crime, yeah. Okay, great. Can you tell us what it's going to be about? Anything, any more information? Is still... um, it's about a woman in her 40s uh, that is 
getting in another uh, phase of life, which is like menopause, and uh, and how is she gonna go through the whole expectation from society or like some labels that society puts on a women that are not more that are not like uh, girls anymore, but like in the third phase of a life. I'm interested in how it was like, it's always like you're a woman when you get your period, you're a woman when you have a child, but you're not a woman anymore when you lose your period, kind of. <laughs> so um, this, um, how, how, how does a woman feel in that situation? This is my question. I really like Kate Winslet. Oh my God. <laughs> She's my crush. <laughs> I um, like Celine. The Siama. Yeah. She's also. Well, you should say her name. Celine. C M. No. Siama. <laughs> Siama. Celine Siama. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. You okay, well, it was. <laughs> it was something. <laughs>